Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and I have a really fun project. Super easy to show you today where you could use some hot glue to make angel wings that are three dimensional. It's super cool. So um, let me show you what's involved. And as you're hopping on, tell me who is watching so I know if I'm just standing in my craft room talking to myself. Um, feel free to ask questions along the way, feel free to sprinkle, all that normal stuff. Okay, so I am using some of these little Dollar Tree canvases uh, to show you, to demonstrate this project, because I only have the one chunky um, canvas like this. This came from Walmart, but we're going to be using these. They're five by seven, they're the thin profile can't stretch canvas. Uh, Crafter Square, you get two of them, five by seven. We're, I'm going to be using some inexpensive hot glue because why use my good stuff? This is 20 pieces of hot glue from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using a piece of computer paper, a pencil, and some scissors to fashion our wings. We're going to be using this color paint. Um, it's Waverly Brand. It's from Walmart, and it's called Cool. It's a really cool color. color. And then I am completely obsessed with these. <laughs> I've used them so much lately and they're back in stock. So we're going to use these as well. So um, let's just start at the very beginning. Okay, the first thing I did was I sketched a pair of angel wings that would fit on my canvas. So let's see, I'm going to scoot you back. And I think I'm going to turn this light off and see if you can still see, because it feels very bright. Okay, I think that'll work. Okay, so I'm going to trace the size of my canvas. This helps you get the scale right on just a piece of computer paper, or any paper you want. This is what we have in my craft room, is our printer, and so I'm always making patterns using computer paper. Okay, and I'm going to fold it in half, and then there are, there are so many different styles and shapes of angel wings. So you, so ask Mr. Google uh, for some images of angel wings and decide what you like. What I'm going for is a pair of angel, angel wings that kind of look like this, okay? So this is the size of my canvas. When I did the square, um, they were wider. So, and here I'm only going to draw it on one side because I want them to be symmetrical. Okay, this is very <laughs> crummy, but it will work just fine. So who has stretch canvases, um, hot glue, some paint, uh, and some of markers? If you do, you pretty much have everything you need, and it can be any size shape of stretch canvas. So this is what these angel wings look like. We'll use these. Okay, then I'm going to take my... Um, canvas and these when you get them from Dollar Tree they come two in a pack so uh, my, my store is $1.25 so these are like 60 cents a piece and you can practice a couple of times and decide what you like and it's no huge investment okay so I'm using my little computer paper angel wings for a pattern and I'm just gonna trace it My pencil. I'll hold this up in just a second. Okay, for this project, I 100 or no, 1 million percent um, recommend that you use a low temperature hot glue gun. I'm just seeing that 
one of our followers, Allison, just got home from the funeral for her 96-year-old grandmother. So this is a good project for her today. Well, I'm sorry about that. I hope your, your grandmother had a, a wonderful life. I hope that she put her trust in Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior. And if she did, then you know you'll see her again. But I'm very sorry to see that. Uh, okay, can you tell, can you see, sort of, where I trace these? Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I am just going to get some glue sticks. This is very glue intensive, so use the inexpensive ones. Don't use your your um, special sure bonder, but do use a low temperature hot glue gun. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of try to draw a heart with my glue gun right in the center. I don't really need a pattern for that. Okay, and I'm going to fill this in first. And I'm just going to, this is going to look messy almost no matter what you do. I'm just going to try to see if I can kind of go around and around and around. What I really wanted was a totally smooth heart here, but um, I haven't achieved that yet. And I've been playing with this idea for a while. So. Okay. I'm just looking to see, do I have any big, big holes? So then you're going to kind of want to pull your glue strings off as you're going along, but at the end we'll use a heat gun to sort of melt them. Okay, now I'm going to just go along my angel's wings. Take your time. Don't hold your breath the whole way down, like I just did. Okay. All right, let's do the other side. Let me think this is gonna be the best way to go. And your, your glue gun is going to get kind of cold, so periodically you need to just take a little break and let it heat back up again. So what is everyone doing? Do you guys like this project? Um, I'm, I'm pretty tickled with how it turned out. It doesn't show you how cool it is looking at it in the uh, picture. In person, it's stunning. And I think that's because I love this color of paint. Okay. I have wings and I have a heart in the center. So I'm going to try not to put my finger in this glue, which is still kind of hot. And I'm going to try to pull off some of the most obnoxious glue strings. You're going to have these everywhere. And you guys, um, I have done this same kind of idea all different ways. 
This was a cross that I made on a burlap canvas. And I used gilding, that gold leaf for that, but we're gonna use the pen. And then this was a project that I did that is sort of dimensional. This part right here is, and it's the pen. And I used the pen to do some edging, and we might, we might add that. So with hot glue and some pens, you can do a lot of different things that look pretty high end, and um, they just take a little practice, but nothing's hard here. Okay. So there are my wings. Now, I'm gonna do little squiggle lines across each wing from the top to the bottom. See what I mean by squiggle lines? And your squiggles can be, you know, whatever, however big of a squiggle you like or don't like her. Also, I'm using this color called Pool. It's Waverly Matte Finish No Prep Acrylic Paint pool from Walmart, but you can do this project seriously with whatever color um, appeals to you. This is totally my thing because it feels like I am making something out of nothing. It really does. And it's cool. And uh, I just had to get brave and try it, really, is all there was to it. And I, I did a few to practice that weren't great. Um, that's what I mean about using one of these inexpensive canvases to practice a couple of times. But this is not hard at all. And the hot glue does dry pretty quickly, or it, it gets cool. Because these are squiggly lines, um, you're not going to mess up. There's no mistake here. It's all personal what you like. What do you guys think so far? Well, hey, Nona from Nampa, Idaho. How are you doing? Hi, Rita. Hey, Carla. Okay, so um, that is our start, and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna pull off the most obnoxious glue strings that I can get to easily, because I don't want them in my paint. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. Okay, next up, you could, is this good? I think it's fine. Let me add a little bit of glue here in the center of my heart. Okay, um, next up is the uh, heat gun, but you could use, that's what I was going to mention, you could use a, um, a hot, uh, a blow dryer as well. This just sort of melts a lot of the, Blue strings that seem to be everywhere. line underneath it. 
this. But that absolutely does not matter. using this color called pool and let's see ah Jane says she loves this idea and that she likes that I have a lot of ideas that are easy and affordable those that's my kind of craft for sure and then if it involves faith at all, I'm all over it. Um, okay, so now I'm just going to paint the whole entire thing. I'm going to paint the um, glue. I'm going to paint, you know, in the cracks and stuff in between the glue. And I'll come back and kind of pull up the big pools of, of um, paint that will start to puddle everywhere. The only paint that I've tried this particular project with is um, acrylic, but I would imagine I can't under I can't think of any reason why you couldn't use just about any kind of paint. Just going to look and make sure that you've got the glue covered as best you can. So what is everyone doing today? Crafting. If you are, tell me in the comments and tell me what you're making. And if you decide to do a project like this, um, I would love to see pictures. I would love for you to share those pictures over at that group I set up for us called Dreamy DIY. It's a free group if you haven't joined it yet. And um, it's just a place for us to share ideas and encourage one another. Uh, if you live in a house with all men, like I do, then they just, I don't, nothing against men, but they just don't seem to get very excited about my craft projects like I am. <laughs> and so it's just nice to share some craft projects, if, you're, if you can relate to that, in a group where everybody's going to be saying, oh my gosh, that's so awesome, what did you use? Uh, so if you haven't joined that group, which is free, um, just type Dreamy DIY in the search bar on Facebook. And um, when you get there, uh, answer the questions. We ask that you not, well, we ask that you be nice, but I know you will. That's what this group is all about. Um, and that you not use the group as a place to, you know, sell makeup or things like that and um, that you not share other crafters videos because then I get a million questions about how to do things that I didn't even do in the first place and um, if you say yes to those questions we'll say come on in and we'd love to have you share pictures of this kind of a project if you do it. I'm going to put it on here so I can hold it up. It's even kind of pretty right now. Okay, I need to fix a couple of places where I put my fingers. Where was that? Hmm. Alrighty. So this is 
what it looks like right now. Okay, we're going to go on to the next step. And I'm going to quickly pull this paint up so I don't get it on myself. And the next step is where everything takes shape. And you're going to be saying, oh my gosh, as you're going along. Okay, before I came live, I did a project up to this step because I didn't want you guys to have to sit and wait for this one to dry. So here's the one that I did before. All right, and it's fully dry. I didn't do a very good job painting it, but I don't think that matters. Okay, um, these are called ink and chalk paste markers. They're from Magnolia DIY. I have been using these, I have been using these so much for the last two years. And I feel like whether you like to do stencils or not, this is something that every crafter should have in their closet. They're just so super versatile. So the four white are chalk paste, the four black are ink, and you get gold, silver, white, and black in each one. So you get eight, and it's like 13 or $14. It's not expensive at all. Um, yesterday I did a project. We made these little trinket dishes out of these. These are scallop shells that are meant for baking seafood dishes. And we did decoupage with some napkins, and then I used the gold ink pen to go around the edges. Which I think really finishes it off. And then, a few weeks ago, we decoupaged these Dollar Tree sand dollars, and I did the same thing. I just traced around the edge with the ink pen. I even traced these little holes. And I think that adds so much. And then I'm always doing uh, dots and dashes and doodly boos and this is just one project of many where I put the markers to work. So I just wanted to show you those in case you're wondering what in the world would I do with that, those markers. Um, and if you want a link to these, just say link and when I'm finished I'll get you one. Today we're going to use the chalk paste ones in silver and gold. And for this kind of a project, really, you could use ink if you wanted, or you could use chalk paste, but I'm, this is what I'm going to use. Okay, and my plan is to do the heart in gold and the um, wings in silver, and then I think we'll do something around the edge. So let's start with the heart. Um, these come with two different tips, a rounded tip and then an angled tip, and you just pull it out and stick it back in to, um, to change it if you want. And I just primed it by pushing down, and now I'm going to just trace around my kind of a heart shape. I was still learning what I was doing when I made this one. Um, so it's not as good as this this other one, for sure. And now I'm gonna just hit the, hit the highlights, the things that are raised within this heart. You can fill the whole entire thing in if you want. Okay. 
but just to see a kind of different look, I'm not going to fill it all the way in. It looks like lace or something to me. Okay, to do the wings, you're basically going to trace the upper edge. I'm not coloring in the inside. Uh, but this is chalk paste, so if you make a mistake, you can just use a wet paper towel and pull up your mistake. No problem. Um, this is honestly so these this idea of a piece of art at some different boutiques and they're like $40 and I'm like I know there's a way that I could make something like that using hot glue so today that's what we're we're doing okay I'm gonna start at the bottom I'm just hitting the squiggles. So if you want a link to these markers, which I think are so fabulous, um, and they're super affordable, just say link. But if you want to look right this very second, you can go to magnoliadiy.com. That is my website, and it's all smushed together, magnoliadiy.com. Don't put a space in there, or, you, or it will take you to a tractor store. Um, and then click on it, Accessories. That's what these markers are considered. And you can look at anything else you want while you're there. This looks so good already. And you can come back if you want and um, go over certain areas. If there are areas that you wish were darker. And it is a learning. There's a little bit of a learning curve to this because just looking at this one compared to this, I can see where I did such a better job with that one. There's one wing. Stay with me. We'll finish this one and then we'll fiddle around with doing some edging. And I'm going to show you this other one that I did. So if you're not sure what kind of angel wings you want to do, because there are lots of different kinds, just Google or go to Pinterest and look at angel wing images and it'll give you lots of ideas. These were the one, the, this is the style that I was going for. I don't know what, what these different styles are called, but um, angel wings go all different directions and are all different thicknesses and um, in real life they well I haven't ever seen an angel but I don't think they have squiggles on them like these do but the squiggles kind of give it some movement and to me make it look a little bit more real okay so I'm gonna do the squiggles here And don't worry about being super neat because part of the charm of this, I think, is that it's homemade. And homemade things are not made by in factories, by machines that do everything perfect. They're made by imperfect human hands. And some of those imperfections give your projects a lot of personality. 
Okay, we're almost there. This is just such a simple project. Tell me in the comments if you think you'll try something like this. Whether you do angel wings, or you could do an angel, or you could do a church. I've done those. I don't know where my sample is. That. Uh, I don't think I have it in here. I've done churches, I've done crosses, I've done different angel wings, not these. Um, but you can do a ton of different things just with this simple idea. It doesn't look anywhere near as pretty on this picture as it does in real life. I'm serious. I will get some good pictures though. Okay, and now let's just fiddle around with doing a little bit of edging. This is one of those things where you can put it on to whatever your uh, style is, however thick you think you would like it to be. It is seriously, seriously beautiful. look pretty just in a little easel. Let's, I think let's do the edging on this one too while I'm here. So if you want a link to these pins, just say link and I'll get you a direct link so you don't have to go hunt them down. Um, they're not very expensive. Uh, you get eight of them. Four chalk, and, four chalk paste and four ink in um, black and white and silver and gold and um, they're around I want to say 14 or 15 dollars or 13 dollars I don't remember exactly but they're and they last forever because you really don't use very much of it I feel like my um, angel wings here could use a little bit more let me turn my light on, my ring light, and let's see if, what that does, if that makes it easier to see or, or not. Isn't it pretty? Can you see around the edges? So that's this one, and here's this one. And I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. So I'm going to get better pictures. But if you want a screenshot, you can do that now. Um, I'll get better pictures. I'll put those in the comments. And I'll take separate pictures and just put them at DIY Dreaming. Um, if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. If... Um, if you want to sprinkle, feel free, all that good stuff. So, I hope that you liked this super easy craft. Sometimes the easiest ideas are the best, don't you agree? Um, do, for sure, use a low temperature hot glue gun. This one is a Sherbonder. It's a mini. It's, it's got a cord. Um, it's under $10, and I get these at Hobby Lobby and at Walmart. And it's called a Cool Shot, and I feel like it's even a little bit lower 
than an actual, you know, any other kind of low temperature hot glue gun. And then you're going to burn through a lot of glue. So for this project, you can get away with using the Dollar Tree hot glue. This is not going to get bumped a lot, uh, so there's really no reason why you can't use a less expensive glue. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll come back tomorrow, and the day after, and the day after, and the day after. Um, I don't know what we'll be doing for sure, but it'll be something that will be quick, easy. You don't have to be an expert. Um, it'll be something that's a little different, like making angel wings out of hot glue. It'll be something that's affordable, and it will almost always either involve faith, family, or flowers. Um, so, I'd love to see you again. Uh, if you see these three little dots up here, if you're watching on Facebook, if you click on those, it will open up and you can see if you've liked and followed this page. You can also set your notifications there. And if you do this or this, or say something to me in the comments, those improve the odds that Facebook will actually show you that I'm still alive tomorrow. <laughs> it, there's no guarantees. But um, that's, that does seem to help. That and turning on your notifications and liking and following DIY Dream, Dreaming. Alrighty. Somebody says, I can't wait to give this a try. It's Kathy Mullins. I know. You could do, I mean, there's so many different things you could do. You could do hearts. You could do crosses. Um, it could be any shape. You could do stars for 4th of July. So, um, I think that they turned out pretty good. I hope you do too. And I will see you guys tomorrow for something fun. <laughs>